Hi guys, like night follows day, the Tories were out doing the rounds in the media to attack the budget, which of course is to be expected. However, the former Chancellor Jeremy Hunt, when he appeared on the Kay Burley show, was a bit dishonest with his assessment. However, unlike other Tories, he explained what he would have done if he was the current Chancellor, and it would be, well of course, to punish the poorest in society. However, how much that punishment would be was pretty terrible. Have a listen to this. You know, we want to put more money into public services. I gave the NHS six billion in the budget this year, um, but we'd have done it differently. Uh, we'd have made difficult decisions on welfare reform, on public sector productivity. We wouldn't have given train drivers a 10,000 pound rise without asking for anything in return. What the hell are you talking about? We wouldn't have given train drivers a, a 10,000 pounds increase without asking for something in return. You wouldn't have given them an increase or you wouldn't have given them an increase without something in return because your government refused to actually meet with them. You preferred strike action for ideological reasons. It was politically better for the conservatives to their base, to pander to the base, to pick fights with uh, Mick Lynch or other trade unions uh, representing train drivers or the tra uh, workers on the, on the railways than to actually sit down with them and hammer out a deal. You actually preferred strikes, even though it cost the, the, uh, the exchequer huge amounts of money. It was more expensive to, uh, to carry out, to uh, allow these strikes to go ahead than it was to actually provide them with the funding. And you're supposed to be the chancellor. You're supposed to be the financial expert here. And you, your government, and you, along, you went along with that, you preferred strikes, which are more expensive than an actual pay deal. He's been dishonest, of course, because they wouldn't have done a deal with the train drivers. Um, but I think the, the biggest one is actually welfare reform. If you cut the number of people claiming benefit to 2019 levels, in other words, before the pandemic... Are you insane? Is he insane? We cut benefits, or cut the number of people on benefits back to 2019 levels... And even mentioned before the pandemic, he's completely ignoring the impact the pandemic had on the NHS waiting list. He's completely ignoring successive governments and the impact they had on the NHS waiting list. The reason so many people are on benefits is because they can't get into work. Why can't they get into work? Because they can't access the health care they need. Why can't they access the health care they need? Because the NHS waiting list is so high because of the pandemic, and because of the Tories. And now he's turning around and saying what we need to do is we need to kick people off benefits, force people off benefits, benefits that they have to rely on because we have failed to provide them with a working government. That releases £34 billion a year. Now, the government's chosen to do nothing on that, and as a result, the, the adult working age benefit bill is going to be more than £100 billion by the end of this period. Those decisions are really difficult. I don't want to pretend they're easy at all. They are really difficult. But we would have taken that harder path because we know that the result of higher taxes is lower growth, and that is bad for ordinary families. Harder for whom? Is it harder for the Conservatives to punish the poor, or is it harder for the poor people who are on benefits? Um, she would say, or that the uh, government would say that they uh, are looking at welfare reform and that is something that they're going to tackle during the course of this parliament. Well, you know, words are fine, but in the end, you've got to take action. What we know in terms of what they've done is that they shelved welfare reform from the King's speech. Uh, Liz Kendall said uh, many times that she doesn't agree with welfare sanctions. So if you take away the stick and you need lots of carrots, but you also need sticks, you aren't going to remake our welfare system. And at the moment, we are signing off 80,000 people a year and saying that not just that you don't have to work, but you don't even have to look for work. That's really bad for the economy because businesses need those people uh, in order to expand. But it's also very bad for the individuals involved. And I don't, but what I would say is this is not easy stuff. And what I wanted to do was a, to see a budget yesterday where we took those difficult decisions, made those difficult choices. I'm afraid the Chancellor didn't do that. Once again, difficult choices for whom? Is it a difficult choice for people to heat their homes or feed their families? 
Is that a difficult choice, or is it a difficult choice for the former Conservative uh, Chancellor to punish people? You men- he mentioned here sticks. Lots of carrots, but we need some sticks. We need to punish people who are on benefits. Ignore the reality of why they're on benefits. Ignore the reality of the NHS waiting list gone through the roof because of us. And we just need to once again punish the poorest in society. I don't like to use the term, but this is evil. Because it's looking at people who are struggling at the moment and knowing that you are responsible for the reason that they're struggling and saying we need to beat these people with sticks. We need to force these people off benefits and into work. Is there work available? Yes, there are, work, there are jobs available. Do they have the skills? No, but that's not important. Are they able to do these jobs? No, but that's not important. The goal has to be to force them off benefits. I hope people remember this at the next general election when the Conservatives are trying to get back into power. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.